Win at home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Islands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now this afternoon we are once again having our weekly private property chat where we focus on a beautiful property and its surroundings. But before we get to that, let's quickly head over to Valdivie to catch up with our design contestants just two days before the completion of their master bedrooms. So yeah, I'm very pleased my bed is in, all the way from Durban. I thought I'd, um, I'd just bring some blessings from my hometown. So this is the like the main uh, feature in the bedroom that I was worried about because it's coming all the way from Durban. Um, I'm happy it's in. It's going to tie in with the, what I had planned for the guest bedroom. What's left now is for me to get my floating shelves in. And I'm also going to be having lights uh, coming down from the ceiling on, on the other side of the bed. Similar to what I had in the guest bedroom, but they're definitely going to be bigger and better. Most of my colors are going to be on the feature wall and the rest of the room I'm keeping it very neutral and the bed sort of gives a hint of on the rest of the colors I'm going to be using. Overall, I'm quite happy with the progress. Um, I feel like I'm on track compared to the bathroom, to be specific. So you guys can look forward to an awesome room. I can't wait to see it. I'm sure you too can't wait to see it. It's getting dark outside. We literally have about 30 minutes left for the day, the building cover's just arrived. It needs to go in. Luckily, I have my scissors sewn cut ready. All, it need, all I need to do is just slide it in like this, and then we're done. But I'm quite stressed because the room hasn't been finished painting. Greg is still busy on this feature wall over here. And um, Bronson's team worked throughout the night to get this ready. My bedside tables haven't arrived yet. They are a season stone collaboration and they're not here. It's a vital part of my room. Um, all my furniture is outside. I'm ready to move in, but look at this place, it's a mess. So let's see um, how I can get this cleaned up in 30 minutes. Oh, typical Rudolph, so stressed two days before the completion of that master bedroom. I must say, some of the ideas are looking pretty interesting. I can't wait to see what that back wall of Minentle's room looks like. It's got like green paint on it. So I'll go and check it out in two days and share all that information with you in uh, just a bit. So today we're joined by Richard Gray on the couch. He's the CEO of Harcourt uh, to guide us through another beautiful property and its surroundings, this time in Somerset West, just outside of Cape Town. Very warm welcome to you and welcome to our loft. Thanks very much, Daniel. So we've spoken about some really beautiful areas that have been around and Somerset West has always been, I find, like a hidden gem because it is not very far out of Cape Town, just mm. a stone throws away. Uh, you've got the beautiful Stellenbosch Mountains just around the side there from you. It's a very family-friendly environment. It's nice, it's open, it's not too busy and packed. Right. It's a beautiful area. Oh, it certainly is. I think it, it's pretty unique, you know, and, and uh, as you've described, it's, got, it's sort of in the mountains near the wine farms. It's not far from those. Um, so you get, you get a lot in terms of where it's just situated. A lot of outdoor life, very popular for mountain bikers, hikers. Yeah. You know, you've got all that sort of outdoor life. You've got really good beaches. Mm. One of the things that people often forget about Somerset West is it's only 20 minutes from the airport. So, oh, you know, a lot of people are using that now. It's quite a good convenient base. Uh, Gauteng executives who kind of base their family mm. down in uh, Somerset West and then come and go easily from the airport yeah. and, uh, yep, spend the week up in Joburg. Do you know how busy the place is? I, maybe it's a bit of a random question, but is, is the place overpopulated? Is it quite underpopulated? It's, it's not bad because there's a lot of room for growth in Somerset yeah. West. So there are a lot of new developments coming up sort of uh, outside of Somerset yeah. West, which is, so it's not all pinned between the mountain and the yes. sea like other places in Cape just, Town. We've reached you know, capacity. It's, it's kind of, it can spread out a little bit there. Okay, cool. That's very exciting to hear because you always hear that, you know, properties and new houses start to develop right. where areas are like massive interests are, have grown there. So Correct. it's exciting to see interest grow in Somerset West. It's such a beautiful little area. Um, let's take a look at the property we've got today. It's, it's behind some mountains yes. and like a beautiful forest area. Talk me through the property. Yeah, look, it's, it is a magnificent property. And uh, I think once again, it's in, inside a very secure um, uh, estate. Yeah. So you get all the benefits of estate living. You've got your lock up and go security, which you know people obviously love. Mm. Um, on top of that, obviously its location is great in the mountains, beautiful views. Um, and when you walk through that particular property, the thing that really jumps out is its quality and class. You yes. know, it's, it's just beautiful fittings. Um, no, no expense has been spared in terms of making it a, a beautiful house. Yeah. 
Wow, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, just the way that it's just opened up for the family. It's got right. all the facilities you must imagine. I always feel so guilty sitting on the couch. It's like, oh, in the future, maybe one day I'll be able to own something so magnificent. It's but beautiful. it is about the rooms, obviously. I mean, when it comes to resale mm -hmm. value, I'm very interested in the investment side of it sure. all. Um, talk us through your favorite rooms in the house. Yeah, I think the thing that really strikes you is the entertainment area. So, oh. you know, apart from the fact that there's a beautiful flow through the house, the entertainment area, big double volume, huge mm. big uh, wooden sliding oh. doors. Um, which open out, so, so that's really magnificent. They've got the koi pond and the swimming pool, so you know that area really is is stunning. Um, I think what's quite interesting is it's a nearly 600 square meter house, so it's a big home, Sheesh. but it doesn't feel cold and clinical. Often yes. a big house does, and this has got warmth. It's got the wood. Mm. Obviously, my personal favourite would be the wine cellar, but that would just be <laughs> a personal preference. It's always spent most of your time. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's so stunning, man. Because I think you've mentioned this idea of it being open, and yes. a lot of light gets inside there. Right. It's wooden as well, which gives it a nice warmth feel. Very Correct. family family friendly. Little Indeed. space. Um, our design contestants are busy working on their homes mm. in Val de v, and it's a beautiful area, obviously. Yes. And they're really they're really putting a lot of hard work into creating those apartments. Right. But again, a private property's big focus is on making sure that the thing is sellable, yes. it is marketable. Indeed. Um, do you have any tips or tricks for our design contestants? No, there, there are a couple of things. Uh, I mean, one is always just put your best foot forward. You know, people often only view a home once, mm. um, so you need to make sure that the when they see it, it really looks at its best. Mm. So, you know, make sure all the little things are good and, and, and make it look its best. I think also then the marketing of it. You know, yeah. if you get a skilled agent who's really good at marketing, um, they'll appeal to the emotions in people because mm. buying a home is an emotional thing and they'll find a way to, to really appeal to them emotionally. True. And how do you do that? Oh, I think it's just through clever marketing. You know, it's, it's, it's showing the aspects of the house that will sell it and that will grab people's attention. Yeah. Firstly, it's knowing who to market it to, yeah. but then grabbing those emotions just through the way you do it. Good photography. Um, yep. Amazing. Great tips, great advice, and again, another beautiful home that we get to display on Afternoon Express today. Fantastic. I'm incredibly jealous and can't wait to grow up and get lots of money to go and buy all these really, really Excellent. amazing homes. Thanks for joining us on the Thank show. Thank you very much. Cheers. Sure. Thank you. So remember to find the home and the neighborhood, which is so important that you perfectly find uh, fits into your needs and lifestyle. And you can simply log on to privateproperty.co.za to do that. And while you're there, make sure that you vote for your favorite winner home design contestant and stand a chance to win big. It's not called win a home for nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of three completed apartments at Valdivia Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's bathroom on privateproperty.co.za. Win a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with NetBank.